Hello, welcome to Brain Entry Recovery Vlog. I'm Jared Payne. This video, I want to deliver a message to my early post brain entry self. Things that I've learned in going through my recovery that would have been helpful for me to know early on. This video idea came to me today when I was working out and I realized just how significantly easier basically everything is for me to do than it was in those early days. So I got to thinking about things that are different now than they used to be and I wanted to discuss that in a little more detail. One of the things that you will hear a lot if you watch any of my early videos is that I wanted to be like I was before the entry. I wanted to do things like I did things previously. I wanted to be the same person that I was previously, etc., etc. I am now significantly better off than I was before my injury. That is something that I did not expect to happen and would have been helpful for me to know that in the end, the pros will well outweigh the cons when it comes to the things that I've gone through. I'm a lot better person just in general than I was previously. I'm much more understanding. I'm just in general, I feel like a much better person than I was previously. I'm also a lot healthier than I was previously. I'm eating better, I'm sleeping appropriately, I'm exercising better. So all things that are important for me to keep up and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be considering doing, making those changes had I not gone through the things that I have gone through. So in the end, kind of getting back to where I was previously, I have far exceeded that. And that is something that I never would have thought was possible early on. I still do use assisted devices. I use probably 90% of the time I can now. I use a walker when my legs are tired or I'm going on log walks. But I no longer feel at all restricted by using those devices. Early on when my injury first occurred, I felt very restricted having to use those things. But now it does not bother me at all. I actually enjoy them. They allow me to do things that I could not do safely otherwise. It is a shift in the way I think about things that I did not know would happen something that I wish I knew earlier on. One thing that I got right, but it was more hard than this than anything else, but it has to do with not giving up. Things are so much easier than they were, and that is because I have put in a significant amount of work. I will continue to do that for the indefinite future because things are still improving and I don't see any signs that that will stop any time in the future. So I will keep that up. Just uh, this past week, I went to therapy and we always do a six minute walk test. How far can I walk with the cane in six minutes? and I walked 60 something feet further than I did the last time I went to therapy about a month and a half ago. So things are still improving and things are still getting significantly easier for me to do. And that has to do with never giving up. It is important for me to keep working, keep making things easier. While I feel like things are better for me now than they were previously, it will just continue to get better and better as I keep working. So I will keep doing the things that I've done previously. I will keep doing those in the future and adding things in and subtracting things 
and doing all those things that have been effective for me. So it would have been helpful to know early on that it takes time, but things will continuously improve, so keep working on things. I'm now six years into my recovery, and things are so much better than they were previously. My balance has improved so much, and, you know, just everything is so much easier than it was previously. I will continue to work on those things. I will continue to update you as things progress and change. But I did want to share that message today. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you back again next time.